I have a flat tire, there's a nail right here, and I don't have a lot of time to take my car down to the shop just to get the tire plugged. So this week on Autofocus, I'm gonna teach you how you can plug your own tire. It's always a good idea to keep a tire plug kit handy. They are inexpensive and easy to use. I find that the tire plug kits with the larger, easier to hold tire tools are worth the extra money. You also might want a few extra tools on hand to remove the nail from your tire. Now what about those flat tire fixing cans of foam? Only use those in an extreme emergency as they can actually damage your wheel and tire. While it is possible to plug your tire with the wheel mounted on your vehicle, I've found that it's much easier to plug if you just remove it. Always consult your owner's manual on information about where you should place your jack. All right, that was it. We got the tire off the car, and I think we found our culprit right there. So we're gonna pull that guy out, and we'll put the plug in. It may take a little bit of force, but don't worry, you're not going to hurt the tire. Now use the tire kit's rasp tool to go back and forth a few times in order to clean out and make the hole larger for your plug to fit in. Push the sticky rubber plug into the eyelet of the plug insertion tool. Using some force, push the plug into the hole. Then pull the tool straight out, leaving the plug in place. Refill your tire with the correct amount of air pressure as recommended by your vehicle's manufacturer. And the last thing to do, remount the wheel and tire to the car. And don't forget to tighten the lug nuts. Well, that wasn't too hard. I saved myself a few bucks, but mostly I saved myself a ton of time. Now I don't have to take my car down to the shop to get the tire plugged. So keep one of those kits handy. You never know when you're gonna need it. For Autofocus, I'm Ben Italis.